Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my Waffle Square, where I obsess about things and you get to benefit from it. Well, in episode 11 of our ongoing series where we are refurbishing this 2006 Land Rover LR3 with the V8 petrol engine, we are going to be focusing on this eyesore of a hood insulation pad by taking it down, spot treating all these stains, and if that doesn't work, painting the entire thing with a fabric paint. So let's get started. Well, I'm not exactly sure what caused the stain you see here on the hood insulation pad, but I have two ideas from speaking with the previous owner and then the way I found the vehicle. Uh, number one, it could have come from the overflow bottle getting a crack in it. Uh, I had seen a receipt and the previous owner told me that she had replaced that bottle uh, not too long ago. I think it's a couple years ago if the receipt is correct. And number two, it could have been the air bleeder valve that's right up on top of the engine because when I bought this vehicle for my daughter, uh, this cover wasn't on it. It was sitting in the back seat and that uh, air bleeder had failed and been replaced by this little straight barbed piece of plastic. So maybe that could have shot. It's a lot closer to it and created the stain. Nonetheless, uh, we're gonna fix that today in this video. So I don't wanna just sit here and spray cleaner and try to scrub it down or anything like that because we've spent so much time making the engine well look pretty. So instead, I'm gonna remove it. There's just a bunch of these Christmas tree style door panel fasteners on there, uh, retainer clips they call them. So let's pop all those off and get to work on it. All right, I've got my handy little panel removal tool. Let's get behind here and just start coaxing out these retainer clips. Oh, this is really flimsy metal here. Oh, there we go. That was loud. This panel tool's at quite an angle, so I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to get these three center ones, and it seems to be working pretty good. All right. And there we go. I'm gonna be replacing all of these retainer clips, so I don't mind if any of them broke remove the remnants with a pair of pliers. As I looked underneath the pad, not only do I see the windshield wiper fluid tubing, but also wiring going to each one. So they're actually heated so that they don't freeze. That's pretty cool, I didn't know that. So the retainer clips are about 16 millimeters long and nearly nine millimeters thick. And I have this kit that I got off of Amazon full of all sorts of different ones. And I think these uh, bottom ones are gonna work out just fine. Well, now's as good a time as any to get in here and clean everything under the hood and then follow that up with uh, a little bit of spray wax. Now, while we've got the insulation pad off, there's one more thing I wanna take care of. If you listen to this right here, you hear how you get the resounding boing kind of a sound? Um, I wanna deaden that with a strip of this kill mat. Uh, this is a self-adhesive back, so I've wiped everything down with rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna cut this in half and slip piece of that and roll as much as I can into place. You just want to roll out all these little perforations until it's smooth. That way you know you've done a good job on that. That'll cut down the boyoyoing kind of sound. And then in all the areas like over here and up here where there's a gap, looks like some sort of glue has broken away. Uh, I'm gonna use some of this Noiko mat. This is sound deadening. I'll slip that right into here. And that'll instantly take care of that. All right. 
See that? Womp. Womp. No, whoa, 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 whoa. So that reverberation's gone. I think I'll put one more piece right there to quiet that knockdown. But over here is quiet. Up here is a lot better. And there we go. Nothing. Well, I've been testing this Ryobi Swift Clean that you see here in this video on my other YouTube channel. I'm gonna have a full review oh, there. I'll leave nasty. a link at the end of the video. And I'm happy to report after quite a bit of uh, elbow grease, this turned out really good. Now, I had considered all along painting it with fabric paint once I cleaned off the initial dirt, but when Aspen got home, this was the verdict. What do you think, Aspen? I approve. Good. That's all I need to hear. Let's put it back on. I've got my little grip mat full of some new panel clips. I'm gonna put some safety glasses on in case anything chips out on me. And just in case we need it, I've got a kind of hard rubber mallet that can get into these spots if we need to drive them home. Well, let's get going. Well, this was a pretty quick and simple project, but it made a dramatic difference and I'm so happy with the outcome. So if you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the algorithms to start suggesting it to more viewers like you. Also, please consider subscribing. I'm working really hard to put out good quality content. There's a lot more videos to come on this vehicle and it's really helpful to the channel. All you have to do is log in to YouTube or Rumble and uh, click on the like or the thumbs up. It's super duper helpful. And I appreciate everyone that has done that. Now I'll leave links for everything, including the vinyl paint that's safe for this kind of fabric uh, in case you don't get the same outcome I did. Now, full disclosure, those will be Amazon affiliate links. So if you click on them and end up making a purchase, it won't cost you a thing, but I do get a small reward at the end of the month. It helps to justify all the time it takes to set up all the cameras and the lighting and everything to record these videos. And it also helped me recently get this tummy tuck. Looks great, right? Now, for our next video, we are going to be fixing the driver's side fog light that was broken when we bought the vehicle. I'll show you where I sourced the replacement light and we'll put it in together. Until then, thank you for watching.